Hello everyone, mag-share na ako ng short word sa inyo. One of the question and siguro struggle ng mga Christians ngayon is when they become born again, there's an expectation ng change of lifestyle. And especially pag matagal ka ng Christian, mas malaki yung expectation sa'yo sa pagbabago mo. And yes, when we become born again, may mga changes sa buhay natin and sa lifestyle natin. But magtataka ka, some of the changes sa buhay mo is temporary lang. Magugulat ka, bumabalik ka sa pagkakadapa doon sa dati mong gawi. Most of the Christian is they struggle to change their behavior or to change their character because of that expectation. Changing our character or behavior doesn't make us born again. But when we become born again, the character or the behavior change. Kung babasahin natin yung Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 16, ang context nito is yung responsibility ng fivefold ministry sa church. Sabi dito sa verse 15, But speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things into Him who is the head, Christ. When we become born again, merong nabuhay sa atin. Ito yung tinatawag na new nature. Yung new nature na yon is yung dapat yung nino-nurture natin and uh, kasama na doon yung fruit of the Holy Spirit yung renewing of the mind, yung gift of the spirit, and marami pang iba. And what happening right now is most of the Christians or leaders or pastor, they're focusing on changing the old nature instead of focusing sa growth ng new nature. Ang kailangan natin is we don't focus on changing but we focus on growing. That's why kahit anong pilit mo na magbago o anong turo mo na magbago sila, hindi sila magbabago dahil hindi mo mababago yung old nature nila. Ang kailangan natin gawin is inurture natin yung new nature natin. And when we grow, there is change. And paano tayo mag-grow? Gawin natin yung daily Bible reading natin. Maten tayo sa mga church na alam natin doon tayo mag-grow. Magsik tayo ng mga godly advice sa mga matured leaders natin, pastors, and of course, mag-undergo ka ng discipleship o sa mga equipping na ino-offer ng mga churches o ng mga leaders o mga pastors ninyo. So I encourage you na kung gusto mo magkaroon ng change sa buhay mo, mag-focus ka sa growth mo, mag-focus ka sa growth ng spiritual life mo. Tutulungan ka ni Holy Spirit na maging Christ-like. Don't focus on changing but focus on growing. I hope na encourage ka. I prophesy and I declare for your growth in Jesus' name. God bless you.